Well, we've all taken family portraits, team pictures, or maybe wedding photos. Yeah, and a lot of us put them in a frame or a scrapbook. But now there is a new way to make those pictures come to life. A Bloomington company has combined different types of photography, and the result is family pictures that literally come in all shapes and sizes. WCCO's John Lordson shows us how 3D photography could change the way we pose for photos. I picked up necklaces, wrinkles, and pants. Good thing I ironed that day. What Brianna Ladd and Brandon Malin are holding in their hands are sort of mini me's, tiny clones of themselves that include the tiniest of details. Um, I didn't expect, I mean, the intricacy of the stick. I mean, you can even see the Bauer lettering on it. Um, the numbers, the name came out perfect, and it definitely looks like me. We are the only ones in the Twin Cities that I know of that's that's both scanning and printing the people. Oliver Turin is the vice president of CAD Technology Center in Bloomington. His company specializes in architectural building scanning, but within the past couple months, they've expanded from properties to people. People are really surprised. I mean, as they kind of see what the technology entails, um, and then kind of seeing what they could do with it, whether it's like a wedding cake topper for, you know, a wedding, um, graduation pictures. Those are just a few of the possibilities. Turin says his company has melded different types of photography together. Digital photography plus 3D printing has created what CAD is calling the Me 3Ds. So these are the cameras right here? Correct, yep. Okay. Basically the same cameras that are in your cell phone. It works like this. You stand in the center of the scanning room while 60 different cameras capture an image of you at the same time from different angles. And how long is somebody standing in here for? About 30 seconds total, and they have to stand still for about three of those. Okay. So it's pretty quick. Software then takes all of those images of you and creates a 3D model. They are printed with a fine layer of gypsum mineral with the color already embedded in the model. These are some of the results, showing just how far we've come from black and white photographs. When we've shown something like this to a grandparent, you know, th their eyes kind of light up. There's also a mobile scanner that can be taken to weddings or other events. Kevin, you're going to earn your money here. you got to make my biceps bigger. The company will open a 3D printing store at the Mall of America in October. They envision bobbleheads and possibly even action figures down the road. We can take your head but put it on, you know, a sports star's body or put it on a stormtrooper or something like that. Just imagine the possibilities. This is something that you can really kind of immerse yourself in you know, what this kid looked like at this point in time. It's really capturing him, you know, as true to life as possible. Yeah, it really is. Here's a look at the models we got. Uh, that is me next to Aaron Goodyear, photographer. I tower over Aaron. <laughs> in real life, there I am. There's a tall version. They have yeah. all kinds of different uh, shapes and sizes you can see. And of course, the prices vary as far as that goes. It was low as $70 up to a couple hundred dollars as well. They have. Uh, me3dstore.com has all the prices for these. So, um, also, they're going to have their grand opening next Monday, third floor of Mall of America. So, I think they'll be pretty popular to say the least. But the, they have the detail down so well. I know, some that's of what's these. It's amazing. Incredible. And these are obviously different sizes. I'm not that much bigger than Aaron. But these are different <laughs> sizes you can get. So, it shows you what. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think people can see the detail through television, but it really is mm -hmm. amazing. I know when you brought them in, we went nuts. How yeah. realistic. And this has been the most popular thing I've had on my desk in, <laughs> since I started working eight years ago. So. Yes. So that's there it a is. Lot about that you, that says it? a lot about me. I got a lot more company. We'll put all that <laughs> stuff on the web because people yeah. are going to want to know. Yeah, we'll have it all up on our website. So, right. yep, check all it out right. next Monday too is a grand opening. How so. interesting! Thanks, John. You bet. All right. <laughs>